What's up guys, this is an unboxing of the ASUS Zenfone 2 2GB version with 16GB storage Z3560 processor. So I bought it from Amazon, I ordered it on May 22, so it took about 10 days for it to arrive at my doorstep. Uh, the total price was $214.92, the tax was $15.92 since I live in California. So let's start with the unboxing. As you can see, I'm super excited, so I am i don't really care about the box, I'm just ripping it out. So this is what the box looks like. I would say the unboxing experience is pretty good. Asus did a nice job with the box, but it doesn't really matter, it's all about the device itself. So you're going to need a scissor to open it up. As I'm opening the box, I'm going to tell you why I bought this version instead of the much more expensive $300. So that's, I guess, the reason. It's more expensive. $300, $200 is much cheaper. And I wanted to get better battery life. I'm not sure if that holds true. Since this has a lower processor and lower amount of RAM, I'm hoping that I would get much better battery life than the 4 gig version. Uh, most people are saying that they're not getting really that good of a battery life, so I'm hoping this model has better battery life. So let's peel off the screen protector that comes with it. And here is the Zenfone 2. So my initial experience is actually pretty good. A lot of people are saying that the phone is way too big, but for me it feels really good. It doesn't feel way too big because of the curvature on the back. It makes it uh, a pleasant experience to hold, uh, as I will describe it. Farther opening the box, you will get two other hardware, which is the micro USB cable and the uh, wall adapter. This is a standard, I believe, 1.3 amp or 1 amp charger. It's not the 18 watt Boostmaster charger that you get with the $300 variant. So, so far my experience with the Zenfone 2 has been great. I'm not very happy with the bloatware that you get with the Zenfone 2, especially, I believe, one app called Clean Master. Uh, it's supposed to m better manage the memory, but I'm not sure of the effectiveness of the app. But otherwise, after disabling the Clean Master, I've had pretty good experience. I can't really comment on the battery life since I've been only using it for two uh, hours and I haven't put a SIM on it. So that's all. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for the review which should be coming up in one to two weeks after I truly experience the device and use it for day to day. And I'll comment on the battery life that you can get with it, this specific model since it does have a lower end processor. So that's all. Thanks for watching.